Hey everyone and welcome to this video on Meet the Speaker. I'm here today with Bob German. How are you doing, Bob? Oh, very well. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So can you do a quick introduction of yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Bob German. I've been working with SharePoint since it was called Site Server um, for a really long time <laughs> and really having a good time uh, doing it. And um, let's see, I just recently rejoined Microsoft. So I was with Microsoft for 16 years. Wow. Jumped over to a partner called Blue Metal. And then I jumped back to Microsoft, so now I'm working with other partners. That partner experience kind of paid off. So wait, was Site Server before Tahoe? Remember? Yes, I, I that was started in 2007. Tahoe. So it's funny because oh. most of the people I'm interviewing have started playing with SharePoint way before me. So I've been learning a bunch of things in those videos. It's I was been on, fun. I, got, I was with Microsoft Consulting Services, and I got put on this project for a um, for an industry analyst that okay. I, I won't name, but um, kind of well-known well industry analysts, and they're tough customers. They really, they, I, I you, as you can imagine, right? And oops. And, Don't worry about it. And um, and so Site Server 3.0 had just come out. Yeah. Jeff Teeper, famous Jeff Teeper, yeah. was uh, the program manager f you know, on that group. He came out with this knowledge manager program, which was part of our solution. So I actually <laughs> met him very early on, and uh, everything, the only thing that was tough about it was everything was written in VB script, I have to admit, but that's, that was ASP wow. Classic, right? So, so what year was that in? That was in, just to give an idea. Yeah, that was around 99, 2000. Okay. And then I skipped the Tahoe version, actually, because I, I, whatever, I got off that gig and went over to the Microsoft Technology Center where I was doing a lot of um, performance and scalability testing, which was okay. really fascinating. I learned a lot. And um, then uh, SharePoint 2003 went into beta. Yeah. And and I got back started again. So and that you were at Microsoft, or did you move back no, to was, consulting? I was still. I was all Microsoft. All at Microsoft. So the, yeah, the early days, the MTC was a Microsoft Consulting Services. So, um, so it was all the same thing. It was not like and a it was, dedicated its own lab like it is well, now. Well, it, right? it wasn't okay, dedicated. Okay. It was like MCS, only the customers came to your lab. Okay. And so it was during the dot com boom. So um, <laughs> there were all these people wanting to start their dot com companies, and they had a lot of money and. Um, and, but they didn't have a lot of headcount, so okay. you know, MCS at that time was looking at how many seats in the Good. and and it was like you know 50. But guess what? It's going to be the future, right? Yeah. Because it's the dot com. So um, so anyway, that that was that was kind of how I got started. I was interested in SharePoint 2003. Scott Jameson, who you may have heard of, is actually he actually uh, got me started on SharePoint 2003 during the beta. Okay. And I never looked back. It was, it's just been great. Uh, what keeps you motivated to keep working with SharePoint after? It's been tw 20 years when you think yeah. at it almost. It's a long I, time know, for I, any tool. Every, I know. Every now <laughs> and then I think of jumping into something else. Like I, Even when I was going to come back to Microsoft, I considered moving into Azure. Okay. And I've been doing more Azure anyway. I think it's the community. You know, It's just such great people. And, um, and I'd like, I think the SharePoint people, it sounds trite, but SharePoint people like to share. Yeah. And that's why it's such a great community, and I like sharing too, and I like helping people collaborate. So I think it all kind of, it's just fun. You've been, when did you first start speaking at events? I started speaking, oh, that's a good question. Um, I was at Microsoft. Another friend I'll drop the name of is Arpan Shah. I don't know if you know him. No. I don't remember the exact year. I think it was... 2002, 2003, somewhere in there. So it was a little bit after I started with SharePoint. And I was also working with Content Management Service. Okay. If you remember that? Yeah, I, I know and the name. Yeah, I know, I think I'm lucky. I've never actually seen it live or had to migrate or to play yeah, with it. but well, I've heard the name. <laughs> migration would have been tough because it was a big shift, but actually it was a really fun product. It yeah. was really nice. Um, and so I did this project that um, I got to meet Arpan. And I found out this is at that time you had to have a roommate when you went to the internal training. Okay. Uh, like now they call it ready, but at yeah. the time it was called tech ready, and you had to have a roommate. And I didn't want to have a roommate. And the way you got out of having a roommate was to speak. Okay. <laughs> and so Arpan invited me to speak with to co-present with him, and I loved it. It was like, oh wow, I got this huge adrenaline rush and and a lot of good <laughs> feedback and. I've been speaking at conferences ever since. You even spoke at a few SharePoint conferences, right? I've spoken at all but one. I missed, I, I attended, but um, did not speak at 2012. Okay. Because that was right after I shifted to the other job. And okay, I, yeah. I wasn't up to speed yet on the new stuff. Which one was your favorite SharePoint conference so far? I think it was 2011, but kind of for personal reasons. It was, um, I had just written a book. 
Okay. On SharePoint and Silverlight, which was maybe not the best. Not the it, most. it was cool back then. It was cool for 10 minutes. Yeah, it was really, <laughs> there was 10 minutes of glory. Hey, so that was still was, supported until October 26, 2021. Oh, really? If I remember. I was just writing a book on tw SharePoint 2019 as well. Oh, and wow. I was talking about all of those features that are deprecated and mentioning when Silverlight stuff's being supported. So technically that oh, book could still well, be valid today. Me, well, <laughs> there's still, my mom thinks it's great, you know, that she's a big fan. So anyway, uh, that was because I get to show off the new book and present oh, with yeah. my co-author and Paul Stubbs and this, it was, and it was in Anaheim, which is a fun place. So yeah, awesome. that was my favorite one, but they're all good. Um, Have you been there last year at the one in Vegas, 2018? Yes. yes that was what do you think? I liked it a lot. It was a little different, you know, because it's actually privately run now. Yeah. Right? So it's like a cooperation with Microsoft providing most of the content or, or directing the content. Um, and yeah, it's, I mean, Vegas, B-52s. <laughs> I, I'm not, I was going to make a joke about the B-52s because, you know, they're really famous before I got born, but I'm not yeah, gonna, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna run away before I get hit. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm dating myself, but I, but I, I was not the only one who, who knew the song. Oh no, no, for sure, yeah. <laughs> I know the songs, but it's still funny. <laughs> who do you think is gonna play at this year's party? I have no idea. Any, any special wish list? No, it's always good. Always good? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. What are you most looking for? I'm looking for what's the bex ne next big thing. You know, I mean, I don't know. And so I came back to Microsoft, but I don't yeah. get all the inside scoop. I'm not in the product group. Yeah. So, um, so it's always the same, it's always the same wish. Tell me something amazing that's coming. Like last that year like. we had the Spaces, had spaces. VR. Yeah, and I want to see the next version of that too, right? That, and, that's going to be awesome. And last actually. time also, that was another thing that was great about it in Vegas was that you actually got to try it, right? Yeah. There was a booth upstairs on the third yeah. floor somewhere where you got to actually put on the goggles and have and this whole experience. Play with it a bit. Yeah, it was so much cooler than, I mean, it, it was cool on stage, but it was really cool to, to actually. To try it like day zero. Totally, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We'll have a thank session you. pretty soon, so I'll let you go back. And Great. looking okay, forward thanks. to seeing you in Vegas again. see you again. in Vegas, all right. Yeah.